Alrighty. Hello, everybody. I am doing this without a script because it's pretty easy. But uh, I'm assuming that you have looked up all over YouTube a tutorial on how to do Rivals of Aether characters. I have too. It's it was very difficult trying to find a tutorial that I could follow easily and understand is easily. So that's my job today is to make it super easy for you. So you don't have to look up some really long video having just having it describe every single minute detail because I'll just go over it really quickly. Um first of all, I don't need this. So I'm just going to close that. Um So yeah, I have this link in the description. So this is the first thing you want to get. Obviously, you want to get Rivals of Aether. That's the game that we're putting it in, putting a character in. Um, workshop tutorial .zip. I do not own this file. I don't even. Also, yes, I'm using Opera GX. Don't, don't, you know, whatever. Um, workshop tutorial .zip. I do not own this. I did not ask for permission to share it. But it is pretty much the essential thing that like it lets you make a character in the first place. So this is kind of required. I could make my own tutor like tutorial zip if I'm not, if later in the future like I'm not allowed to give this out to people. Anyways, so this is in the uh, description. Don't go and download a specific file. You'll have to download the whole thing like right there. I already have it downloaded. Um, you're gonna go to the folder, whatever. Once you have it, you should unzip it. Un like um, like you should see here. I'll, I'll do it like this. Give it a second. So if you, I'm assuming that you are doing this on Windows. I think that's like the only way to do it. But um, you should just automatically right click and just go um, extract all. And if you can't, then, you know, have like some sort of like WinRAR or some kind of unzipping application. But you're going to extract all like that. Um, and once it's done, it'll give you it. But I'm, I'm not going to do that because I already have it right here. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, workshop tutorial. You'll find all this stuff in here, including one extra thing that I did not show yet. Um, right here, ROA. ROA comes with it, okay? You don't see it in here because I've already done the instructions. It's right in here, okay? So, first thing you're gonna wanna do is get that ROA uh, dialect in GMEdit. So open up editor.exe. What you're gonna do is go to GM Edit editor beta windows. This right here, don't look at anything else. Just go click on editor.exe. It should load up. When it's opened, click the three bars at the top near recent projects. Recent projects. Then you're going to click preferences. Scroll to the bottom. GML dialects directory. You're gonna click that. Now you got now you're at here, the API API. Um with so I, so your folder should look like this you should have this okay so i'm just going to copy and paste it act like i already have it so this is what it should look like right once you have all that done you should um yeah you should have this drag and drop it into the folder that it opened do not mess around okay do not go oh gm edit or oh live or any of these the directory that this gives you to is the directory you need. You don't need to go any further or any, any backward, okay? So you're just gonna drag and drop it as I did right there and put the ROA right in there. Then it says to reload GM edit, but that's not what we're worrying about right now. So close that, um, close this. All right, next, so we're gonna go to character files in this folder. I think that's, yeah. Right there, character files. Um, don't go to Gradua or Gradua. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, it looks like this. These are just sprites. They don't really matter. 
um, you want to go to workshop tutorial. Workshop tutorial. Workshop tutorial has all the stuff you need. Um, I don't know why mine is backwards. These folders should be up to here, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, don't go in here. Go back out. Go to workshop tutorial. Control C or copy, like right click. Um, uh, right here, copy. Or if you're working on an older version, it should have like it listed down right here. Either way, you're going to open a new window on folder. You're going to go up here. You're going to press percent app data percent no space that's it press enter your app data roaming go back one to app data go to local scroll down you should find rivals of aether click it then if you don't have a folder here that says workshop or if you have workshop synced don't worry about workshop synced you want workshop you're going to right click um, new folder and you're gonna type in workshop I already have one so I don't really need it it's right here you're gonna click it um, it should be empty obviously so that's that's when you get this this workshop tutorial right here you're gonna copy it and then paste it right in here it should be fast once you're in there you should have all that there yeah there we go um, and then, boom, when you start up the game, it sh you should be able to see it. So, so you know, click the game. Wait for it to load. There we go. All right. Local. Practice. Actually, no, I don't even really need to say this. You know what to do. You go to practice or whatever. You press the workshop sign. If you don't see it, go to change rules. Go to workshop. Turn it on. There we go. Uh, press workshop. Uh, and go left. Left should show... There we go. Workshop tutorial. It should look like that. And it should be working. Just like that. Press space on it to change the color and whatnot. Um, you know. You know, the, you know the whole jazz. Press enter to fight. Press enter again. And there you go. You should have him. And you're probably thinking, "Wow, it's oh, it already it's already character with his own move set and stuff." Don't worry. Um, in future videos, I will go over um, how how that all works, how you get the stuff, um, how you change it to be your own. But right now, I'm just gonna describe stuff. So now, you don't really need to work with this. You don't really need to work with the workshop tutorial stuff anymore. All of this is you, you don't don't delete it. Do not delete it at all because you will need workshop helper and GM edit. Right now though, let's let's go over sprites, okay? So right now, so you see all these sprites, right? All these PNGs. It's pretty easy what you do. You grab it, you go into your photo editor, um like like Photoshop or GIMP or something like that, or just anything like maybe even IBS Paint, I, IBIS Paint. Who knows? What I do is use PhotoP. All you got to do is search up PhotoP in the Google search bar. You click on f the first link, boom, you got it. And you can just go in here, be like, drag and drop, and um. You can just basically mess around with it. I suggest using the pencil tool and bring it down to one. Uh, and you can just go like, you can just go like that or whatever. I don't know. Um, uh, for now, I'm just gonna. For now, I'm just gonna draw like um this. Um, obviously, color it in with the transparent background. It's not gonna really look good. Um, I'm not going to really put a lot of effort into this because this is just a tutorial for you. For the viewer! There you go. And you save it. Control S. Save changes. Or you could just go File, Save. Um, now, you're probably wondering, oh, but you're going too fast. I don't know what, what file you just chose. Relax, I'll handle it. Um, 
And look, it's already changed right here. But listen, L look at the names and look at what they are. I will give. I will tell you right now what each one is for. Config dot any dot png and icon are the same thing. So if you're going to change one, do the same for the other. Anyways, so th what this is for is when you're selecting the workshop character in the game. In the character select screen, it should show like a tiny little icon. And you can change it and it'll be different. Right here is result small. This is when uh, you lose a match and you're in second, third, or fourth place and it shows that little like thing at the right. Preview. Preview is what the thumbnail will be for your workshop item. So if you're going to upload this workshop item, this is what your thumbnail is going to look like. It's not really important for the game, it's only important for if you're going to upload this or not. Portrait. This is when your character gets first place and it shows their giant picture on the screen. Off screen. This is when your character is off screen and it shows a little bubble showing where they are. Hurt and HUD. This is the little bar at the bottom telling you the character and their name and how much health they or how much damage they've gotten, uh, stuff like that. So the HUD, is, so they're both the same. The hurt is when your character gets hurt or if it dies, it'll switch to this. But in any other case, it's going to be the HUD. Character select. I just changed that obviously. Basically, it's the uh, look like the preview of the character after you've selected the character. So after you've selected the character, it should show like a little character pop up, and this is what it should look like. Next, sprites. These are all your sprites. Uh, don't worry, I'll talk about them later. Just know that look at each one and read it carefully. Dash start. This is when your character starts moving faster or running. Dash turn. That's when your character turns the other way while they're dashing. Jump. Jump start. Land. Landing lag. All this stuff. But don't worry about it. I'll talk about it in the next video. Whenever I make it, I don't know. Um, taunt, whatever. One important thing that I did not see any tutorial go over is the little number at the bot at the very right. These numbers tell you how many frames are in the image. Like, so if I go to this, uh, F air, it says four. Look, one, two, three, four there are four frames in this entire animation so you're gonna put four at the end so if I were to take one let's just say uh, dash oh shoot so if I were to take one let's just say dash and I brought it in and I uh, deleted it I took away that uh, select pixels crop and I just made it this. It can't stay as dash start strip two because I just took away one of the frames. So what you're going to do is you're gonna go back, go to wherever you, yeah, saved it right here. You're gonna rename it and put a one instead. Oh, uh, hold on. Just like this has one and this has five, one, two, three, four, five. That's how that works. Sounds. Now sounds are a little tricky, but um, if you know, if you have all your sounds already picked out and stuff, good. You just need to pick a name for each one. It doesn't matter what name you choose, just pick a name. Uh, with underscores instead of spaces, no capitals, I, I think that's... F okay. Victory. This, this is the sound that plays when your character wins. So yeah, for instance, if your character gets first place, it'll sh it'll have that audio play. Scripts. Don't worry about this. Uh, you don't need to see it inside the folder, but it tells you how each attack works in the attacks folder. And here is just basically how the character loads in and works that way. Alright, time to go over the applications. And here we have workshop help helper. What we're gonna do is click on it. Okay, hold on. Workshop helper, master. Workshop helper, master. And then you go down here, rivals workshop helper, .exe. Double click it, don't press anything else. Then you're gonna go up here and you're gonna press the dot dot dot. 
you're going to go to the exact directory of your folder and you're going to go to sprites and you're going to pick one like this and you're gonna right click and do that and basically this is how you get your the offset of your characters in the hurt boxes too so like I could get this one or whatever um, I'll go over that when we're doing the sprites and stuff like that um, GM edit we already went over this go to editor however the whole point of this is the code you're gonna go to the three bars open boogie boogie or no sorry <laughs> workshop workshop tutorial scripts now here are the most important ones init and load load is the offset I'll talk about that in the animation video uh, init are the properties of the animations the properties of the how the properties of the character character height basically how many pixels are they from the ground I think I don't know for sure it's best to just mess around with it knock back a uh, ADJ <laughs> Um, and other stuff. That's basically all you need to know to get started. Uh, I won't be working with this though. I'll be working with the one that I'm currently working on, Oogie Boogie. Um, I'll show a little bit of him right now, as well as the workshop tutorial after I've changed the sprite. And don't worry, if you're tired of opening and closing the game over and over and over again, you can easily just load the character in again by leaving the match pressing on them and just pressing them again um here i'm gonna do verses but here look so as you can see i changed the sprite and boom we already have a different thing perfect then we can go over here we can choose let's say um oogie boogie See, I haven't really made the one for him yet because I'm trying to make it good. And then let's do another mod I made. Jack Skellington. Uh, if you want to download this, it'll be in the description too, just in case. Because I like promoting myself. Alright, so here. So yeah, just watch them fight or fight with them. Your character should be working in the game. Um all that jazz and and yeah that, that's pretty much where this video ends I will not be making another uh, tutorial video if this video does poorly so it, it would be very good if you commented liked or subscribed I know that sounds cheesy but it's true I that's the only way I know if you guys want me to do more of this so uh, comment away only if you want me to continue these. I hope it was very easy, I hope it was very quick for you, and I hope that you make a great creation one day.